Hi, in this session I'll cover how to create a bi-directional bar chart or in some cases it's called a comparative histogram on the web. And so there's some debate about whether or not it's really considered a comparative histogram but I'll leave it up to folks to kind of debate that out. But in this instance I'm calling it a bi-directional bar chart because in Excel the um, orientation of this type of chart is a bar chart and it's bi-directional, it's going both ways. So this is the world population age structure. And I, you can have many values here, but I've, I've only put uh, um, many categories for the values here, but I've only put three categories here for the age brackets. And one thing we need to notice is with one of the series of data, you have to make it negative. That's where we're getting our bidirectional part or, or, or our view. So let me go ahead and show you how to go and create this chart. I'm going to go ahead and select these this table. Uh, control C to copy. Let's bring it onto our other sheet here and just paste it. And since it's already selected, I'll go ahead and insert a bar chart. So I'll go to insert bar and we want to insert the stack bar chart. So what it's going to give us is a pretty plain vanilla bar chart. And let me just uh, adjust the height and width here. And you notice that uh, Excel automatically uh, shows that these are negative values. And what we want to do is don't have do show those as positive values. So let's go ahead and select the horizontal axes. Now it's selected. You see the solid line. And right click that and go into Format Axis. In the Format Axis, what we want to do is go to the number and go to custom and as you can see I've already got created a custom code for the number format and basically I want this number format 0 semicolon 0 semicolon 0 our positive numbers started are, are 0 uh, have a 0 value or, or 0 value for, 0 value format code our neg negative numbers have a 0 value format code and um, I believe the last value would be text so we go ahead and add that in there, select, cl select close, and now we've got the negative that's taken out of there. Now we want to also move this category label away and go to the left. So we can select the vertical axis, you just select the vertical axis, and then right click that, go into format axis, and we want to select the axis label to low. So that's going to send it over here. And we probably also want to, want to get rid of this, these tick marks. We don't need them here. So we can see that the minor tick mark is already selected at none. Let's select the major tick mark to none. And you can see that that disappeared. Go ahead and close this. And now the rest is basically just formatting. Uh, here we can select the legend, right click that, format legend. Let's put it over to the bottom like I had it earlier and then uh, let's add a chart title. So I can go up here into the layout and basically have the labels I can add. So chart title, well, we can just add a chart title above the chart and let's type in uh, world population. Now let's just make it simple for now. World population. And let's say we want the labels on here. We go and write you can see now all the uh, female series are selected. Right click that, add data labels, and let's say we want those, we have to click the labels again to select all of them. Right click that and let's format the data labels. And we'll put it into, I think it's going to be inside base to make it just look, uh, look kind of neat here. What we can do also now since this format data labels, this dialog box uh, is uh, we can we can select other values and also edit edit we can select other parts of the chart and also edit uh, their attributes so we can go here and uh, oh you know what I need to add the label first so let me go ahead and select here and add data labels now go ahead and right click format data labels now you can see that the la la da la the data labels are selected. I think for this one it's going to be inside in, inside end. And uh, go ahead and close that. Now 
we had that nice black background so there's actually some predefined designs that are or chart styles that are already there so we can just select I think I select this one here you can choose you can choose your own colors and kind of make it nice the way you like it. Um, I kind of just would stick, I just stick with the styles here just for this example. And, you know, since we're talking about male, female, classical male, female colors, we have blue for male. Let's just make the female colors a nicer, uh, nicer color. Let's see, let's do format data series and go under fill. Yeah, let's not get it automatic. Let's do a solid fill and, uh, do some more colors and something that's closer to the pink category probably uh, yeah, there you go and voila we have our bi-directional bar chart or our comparative histogram so hope this helps thanks for watching